Zucchini karate, I'll shank you. Hi, hi everybody. Today I'm gonna show you how to turn this to this. It doesn't matter your hair length either. And this will work whether your hair is thin, thick, or semi-short. Let's get into it. Moon prism power makeup and whatnot. <laughs> ah, the iconic Odango. That's what Usagi's hairstyle is called. Or Serena for you dub watchers. I don't know, do they call her Serena in the new crystal dub? I haven't watched the new crystal dub. I refuse to. <laughs> Three ways you can do buttons. First, you can do all natural, which is what I usually do. If you have long or thick hair, you can do the natural way. But if you don't, don't worry. There's still hope for you yet. Other options I used to use when I was younger. Um, I used clip-on buns. You just clip them right on, bada bing, bada boom, you're done. Or sock buns. This one's from the Dollar Tree, and this one's a homemade one just because uh, Dollar Tree didn't carry them when I was younger and my hair was shorter at the time. So let's get right into it. I'm going to start with the sock buns first, and yeah, but with, with every good Sailor Moon bun, you need to start with a pigtail. Put fists in your head and then put hair ties right where your fists are when you want your bun. I'm going to curl my bangs real quick with a flat iron because I always burn my head with curling irons for some reason. If you're more talented with a curling iron, I'd recommend that. But for forehead safety reasons, flat iron it is. Da -da -da -da. And when you curl your bangs, you just kind of, I mean it's basic, you just hold it like that and wait for it to cool and then you kind of just place it around until it looks right. So I'm going to go do that and come back with curled bangs and then on to the piggies. We're back with the styled bang. Let's do some magic. If you don't know how to put your hair in pigtails, you just need a bobby pin or a brush with a little metal bit on the back of it and kind of just drag it down all the way in the back. Separate your hair and pigtail it. And here's the piggies. Ah. <laughs> For some of you who know or don't know already, the donut method, basically you just slip your hair around it, stick your finger through the middle of your hair, kind of try to splay it out, and then roll it up. Starts out as a hot mess because my hair is really thin at the ends, but it would work better if you have thicker hair. Just kind of work it and spread it evenly so the thick and bulky marching one area. And eventually, you'll get to the very, very top. <laughs> hair is too long now. Oh, that's a massive bun. I can feel it already. Get to the last few turns. What you're left with is this. It'll look smaller, neater, and tighter if you don't have really thin hair at the end. This was pretty much just as good as the sock method. They're almost identical. The only difference is the general shape. If you use a sock, it'll be a little bit more rounder. If you use the donuts from the store, it'll be more donut-y. For the other method, you can always clip one on or bobby pin one on to your little pigtail up here. I don't imagine she'd have time to do it the last way I'm going to show you, but we're going to do it anyways. It looks like the one she does in Crystal because she sticks a little bobby pin. You'll see. You'll see. And for the last and the best looking buns out of them all, you need to leave one more pull through in your ties. Basically, leave just enough to pull your hair through one more time. And if you have long hair, then go ahead and split it up and do two halves. Depending how long or thick your hair is, you'll need to adjust on how much you want out of the pigtail to hold down and how much you want in your bun. If you have thicker hair, you'll need, you know, less hair, and if you have thinner hair, then you're going to need more hair in your bun and less hair in your pigtail. So you want to leave that last hair tie pull, or a knot, right through the clump of your hair, like that, and you have two little ears. <laughs> you're going to segregate it into two pieces, like this, and leave the third piece in the back for the hair that hangs down. You'll want to wrap this around tightly. Oh no, it's looking like a chibi moon bun. And then wrap this in the other direction. And then get tighter when you get to the end so it's more rounded. Don't worry if your bun ends up a little bit pointy because that's what the bobby pin's for. Bobby pin the ringlets down so they don't pop up like that. If you want to do chibi moon, then go ahead and bobby pin it in place where it's sticking up like that. That way it'll stay sticking up, but for Usagi, just pin it down. Onto this bun. Ow. For you shorter hair friends out there, the magic of extensions. I wear these when I put actual full costume on. So it's just got a knot at the end. I'd recommend maybe, what am I doing? The little nub you made is actually going to house the knot. Just stick little nub 
up in there like so pull your hair tighter around it and just like this bun over here we're gonna split it in half don't forget to segregate your pigtail on the back so it doesn't get jumbled up with all this and put your bobby pins in the tops I'm gonna find things to complain about yep that's me hashtag complain about everything big mood Anyways, thank you so much for watching everyone. If this helped you in any way, shape, or form, don't forget to comment below and tell me which method you used out of the ones I've mentioned. Also, please smash that subscribe button while you're here and jingle my little tingle. And remember, be excellent to each other and stay magical. Bye-bye! Oh, you're a trash bag, Mr. Dongo. You are a trash bag. It's time to stop! It's time to stop, okay? No more! Where the f*** are your parents? Who are your parents? I'm gonna call Child Protective Services. It's time to stop! I think they just rebroke my toe. I was turning off all the lights in here and, and get ready to watch TV. And it broke my toe. Okay, seriously? While I was filming, I completely forgot about my brace. And I burnt it. <laughs> Damn it. I'm not even mad right now, just because of the sheer irony of it. Oh no, the trash can lid's not opening. I have to do this manually. Damn it. It's so bad. It stinks in here so much. Oh no, it's not coming out. Why, Mr. Odongo? Why? Oh no.